Once you have gone over all your pencil lines with a Sharpie on your nice watercolor paper, you are ready for the next step. Color! Hello, my talented artists. I am looking for the real colors, just like I was looking for the real lines and shapes. So I, what I see, if I'm gonna take my watercolors, I see a little purple, I see some dark blue, I see some turquoise, I see some orange, and you know what, I think it's a light orange, so I might need some yellow. I want you to divide your colors into warm colors and cool colors. So my cool colors are purple, dark blue, and the turquoise. And my warm colors are orange and yellow. And you know what? To make a darker orange, I might even get some red or magenta. You can only paint cool colors or warm colors in one period. Then you have to let them dry, and then you are going to paint the one that you didn't do. So I am just going to paint my cool colors today. Next week, I'll do my warm colors. So as you know, to activate paint, we have to get some water and the paintbrush actually carries water over. So I'm dipping it in and I'm squeezing out a little bit of water so I can get a nice amount of paint to work with. If I want it to be really, really dark, I have to rub and rub. The more I rub, the darker it gets. The more of the pigment of the paint, the pigment is the color part, gets mixed in with the water. So I just wanna rub and rub and rub and rub and rub. I'm gonna get all my paints ready so I'm ready to go. And I want you to do the same. Make sure you carry at least 10 drops of paint over so that you have enough not 10 drops of paint, 10 drops of water over so that you can make enough paint to use and you don't have to try to keep carrying water over while you're trying to paint. Now, this is gonna be tricky, folks. We are going to try to paint symmetrically. So I'm gonna look very carefully and I notice that there's purple on the sides of those shapes. So I'm going to paint a purple. Oh, that doesn't look dark enough. I'm gonna rub it a little more. Rub, 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 rub. Hopefully that'll be dark enough. Let's see it on this side. It's a little darker. Maybe when I add the blue, it will mix and make a dark. So I'm gonna do this side now. I'm trying to do the same thing on both sides. Make sure you have enough paint. If your paintbrush doesn't have a nice point to it, twirl it. Another thing I want to tell you is you can layer colors. So if it's not dark enough, you can always go over it. Let it dry a little bit and then go over it. If you leave a little bit of water, if your paint is nice and watery, it's going to blend with the color that comes next. That is why I cannot paint my warm colors, my orange and yellow and red, because it will blend with my cool colors and then it will be a it, they won't be nice sharp shapes. Now I'm gonna go with my dark blue. I'm gonna paint right next to it. And I think it pretty much, I'm gonna really carefully try to get all of the white spots in this shape. It looks like it a little bit goes at a diagonal. So now I wanna do the same thing I did on this side to this side. This is really good training for your brain and your eyes. And I want to make sure that I painted my whole shape. I don't want to leave any white spots. Get all those little white spots. I went over that purple and it kind of covered it up. But, you know, I can rub and rub and rub. Watercolor can be changed. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to switch to my turquoise. I go right next to that. Ooh, that looks like almost the same color. Maybe I need more water to lighten it. Almost looks 
Hmm, I want it to be lighter than that, than the blue, but it looks almost the same. So if I want it to be lighter, I'm gonna wash my brush a little bit, and I'm just gonna use water to pull the pigment, pull the color over so it gets a little lighter. Remember, artists, that it does not have to be perfect. I just want you to try as hard as you can to meet the objectives, and our objective is trying to be symmetrical in our lines and in our paintings. So now I remember that I want this blue to be a little lighter, so let's see. Oop, I'll do that. It does look different, but I don't want so much pigment, so I'm just going to use a little water. Remember, no tap, 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 because we don't want to spray our neighbors. I'm just going to use a watered brush to make a nice light color, although it's actually not really light on my bug. Oh, I went into automatic pilot. Well, let's see what it looks like, and then I can make, I can darken it once I get all the blue, all the cool colors painted in. That's my goal today, get all the cool colors painted in. Okay, the bottom one looks actually a lot purple. So I'm just gonna add a little purple down here. Keep looking at your references so that you can paint it as close as you can to the photograph. I'm gonna speed this video up so that we can get to your turn sooner, but remember to go slow and low. I think I have painted all of my cool colors. Now remember, we're not painting the background. We are gonna get to that, but not until we've painted everything inside our insects or spiders. Now it's time to pick up carefully. Don't tilt your painting because it is drippy and it will make drips, so always keep it flat and carefully keeping it flat, slide it into the drying rack, making sure that it doesn't touch anybody else's painting.